Hello there, welcome to my video. My name is Ilse Voss and this video will be about the mechanism of making others look or feel bad in order to feel better about ourselves. I think to a certain extent we all do this. I mean, we all like to laugh about other people and their mistakes and it makes us feel like we're less flawed ourselves. But we can take this to an extreme, of course, as you can do with everything. And if you use this as your main mechanism to feel good about yourself, then first of all, you're not a very nice person to yourself. Because if you use the method of comparison, because this is what it is, you're comparing yourself to other people, in order to feel good about yourself, it's, it's a quite hollow way of getting your sense of certainty, your sense of self-assurance. Because it's not about you. It's not about your qualities at all. It's actually about the comparison of your qualities with somebody else. I'm not saying that we should never compare ourselves to others and that we, we cannot measure ourselves by others like yeah i'm better at this and he's better at that i mean that's all right but if you use it <laughs> to feel better about yourself it doesn't have any ground to stand on because every time you doubt yourself every time you start doubting yourself you need somebody else to feel worse than you you need somebody else to be worse at something than you and also the other way around. Anytime that an another is better than you at something that you like to be good at, you feel bad about yourself and you feel the urge usually to make them look bad or at least make them look bad in your head. If you recognize yourself in this, it's okay. I had it. This is why I talk about it now. I just... I just noticed that I had these stories in my mind about people who were very talented at something that I would really search for their weakness, their weak spots and the things that they didn't do well so that I would feel a little bit better but actually I didn't feel better at all. Usually it's, it's this problem with worth and self-worth and feeling unworthy that creates this feeling of superiority. This feeling of unworthiness creates some sort of vacuum within us and it, it, it creates this wound that reopened again and again anytime we feel less than another and, and this can be when somebody else is very good at something it can also be when we make a mistake or whatever so Anytime this happens, this wound <laughs> that sucks in all the energy within ourselves, like, uh, I feel so bad and now I need to do something to make it feel good. And if we learned from our parents that, or from any caregiver that, we then should compare ourselves to people that are less than us in that particular part of life then we keep using that instead of saying to ourselves, yeah, well, I made that mistake, but yeah, that's just how it is. <laughs> this is where I am in life. I'm, I'm good the way I am. I'm just, I'm evolving. I'm learning. It's just great that I can learn from this. It's great that the other person is so good at this so that I can learn from them. And maybe because they, Put a lot of more effort in it or whatever the reason doesn't matter but we cannot make another person feel bad about themselves because of their qualities when their qualities make us feel hurt it's not fair <laughs> and it's it's not a way to live it's not a way to live for the other but also not for ourselves as i said you, you cannot use comparison as a method to gain your own self-worth. Self-worth is something that 
that we need to build within ourselves. It, we need to build some sort of base within ourselves of self-worth, of this feeling. I, I'm going to give you one example. What I use to feel better about myself and superior to others. When I was younger, I often felt misunderstood. I felt like people didn't really get what I was saying and I often got, got mirrored back a lot of weird faces and I just felt so unworthy because of that. And at a certain point I was like, hey, fuck that. They don't understand me because they are not smart enough. <laughs> maybe I'm so smart, maybe I'm so different that this is why I'm misunderstood. <laughs> this is what I would think. <laughs> you know, in the beginning it helped me. It was like, oh yeah, yeah, well, I'm misunderstood, so yeah, yeah I'm smart. <laughs> so anytime I got in that situation, I didn't feel unworthy about myself, but I started feeling superior because this feeling good was depending on the idea that I was so smart that they didn't understand me. After, after a few years of using that, I, I realized that this gap between me and other people wasn't gone. I still felt misunderstood and I didn't want to feel superior to them. I just wanted that this gap was closed or was less big. So what I had to do, I had to step from my pedestal and see myself as equal again, which was very painful because I felt completely unworthy again because I was misunderstood. I had to make myself be understood. So I had to improve myself in my communication. I had to learn to understand myself because I realized I didn't understand myself either. So what's smart about that? <laughs> so I worked on that and this, this mechanism completely fell into pieces. I had to, to feel a lot of old emotions that I had been avoiding for very long, but I'm so grateful that I did it because I can finally connect with people again. I can finally feel equal again. I don't have to make them in a lower position in order to f for me to feel equal to them because I wanted to feel equal to them but in order to feel equal, I had to place myself above them. And I didn't want that anymore. So yeah, this was the way I did it. And somehow I'm a little bit ashamed of it. I'm a little, I feel a little bit, yeah, I'm putting this out on the internet and it can be used against me. But on the other hand, I'm thinking, well, if somebody wants to use it against me, it probably means that they feel unworthy within themselves and I feel very sorry for them and I hope that they can also feel this sense of certainty within themselves that is not reliant on the comparison of other people and I hope you can do that as well and I hope that this video will help you with that and if it's not clear enough then please let me know because I want to be as clear as possible and if you want another video about this please let me know in the comments so that i can can clarify it more and more but for now i think this is all i wanted to say and i hope you have a beautiful magical day and i hope also to see you in my next video and thank you very much for watching